My name's Phil Nelson, I'm Chief Executive of the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, EPSRC, and I'm here just to say a few words about our delivery plan that's taking us through to 2020 and helping us to ensure that the UK stays at the forefront of science and engineering on the world stage. In putting together our delivery plan, it was very much uh, stimulated by what we thought we could do for the nation. We had to really make a pitch in the spending review to try and convince ministers that there's tremendous value in science and engineering in the UK. And so we did that under the four headings of making the, the nation better connected, healthier, more productive and resilient. And we found that really resonated well with ministers and colleagues in government and the Treasury. And so what we decided to do was to actually use that as a framework for what we might think about in terms of future delivery of our portfolio. We went through a very long process of consulting our community, of using our strategic advisory teams, our strategic advisory network and our council, and all were really uh, very helpful in helping us frame uh, our ambitions uh, that we're delivering under each of those headings. Uh, and I think that that puts together something that both speaks to government and we hope very much will give our community a framework within which to work. We completely understand that uh, new technologies and, and engineering advances are built on strong foundations of basic science and it's essential that we keep those foundations strong. So we're making sure that we allocate about 60% of our research funding to bottom-up driven investigator-led uh, research. The, the real frontiers of science that we want to make sure we keep strong in the UK. We'll be using the other 40% to really uh, drive strategic initiatives that, that try and deliver on the outcomes we've promised to government. We've actually put together four short films under each of the four headings of Connected, Resilient, Healthy and Productive. They're all uh, on the website too and I encourage you to look at those. We've always had this sort of top-down and bottom-up balance between what we've called challenge and capability. Obviously for those that are closer to uh, the applied science end of things, it'll be more easy to see how your work might fit under these categories. But what we need to deliver them in the long term is good, solid, basic foundational science. New technologies rely on really good understanding of the physical world and we can't do that without ensuring our science base has real strength and is really competitive globally. Please come forward with your great ideas that helps keep our science base strong.